Alright, in this tutorial we're just going to make it real simple, real basic. It's, we're going to show you how to select an object, move it, resize it, rotate it, and maybe do a little warping. So let's go ahead and uh, get started. Now you have an object on the mat that you'd like to move. Uh, all you have to do is hover your mouse cursor over it, and you'll see that crosshair. And you just click and hold, and now you're able to just uh, move that object. As you can see, you can click anywhere on that uh, on that cut, and it will move. Now when you select uh, an object, you'll notice that you'll get this blue line that's around that object, followed by some arrows on the outside. Now, those arrows indicate that if you click on that arrow, and you click and hold and drag, that you can manipulate that. So like this one, we can resize, uh, you know, make it make it bigger, just by clicking and dragging. Uh, same thing goes for these pull handles right here. You know, you can stretch it, and same thing this way, you can stretch it that way. So that, that gives you a quick reference on what those arrows do. Now when you select an object, you may not see these arrows at first. You may see something else. So I'm going to click again, and we'll see the next arrows that, that appear. Now these are our rotation, uh, rotation arrows. As you can see, I can click in this right-hand corner, and you know, just click and drag, and now I'm rotating that object. Pretty neat. And like this, it sort of uh, shifts uh, one side of it up and the other side down. It sort of makes a parallelogram, uh, the parallelogram effect. And now if we click it once more, we'll see even more, uh, more tools that are at our disposal, which are the warp. And that's sort of a neat little feature. It's sort of like a stretching perspective. Kind of uh, kind of effect, and you can just play around with it to uh, to get it the right effect that you're wanting to get. Now, if you're looking for something that's a little uh, a little a little more uh, specific on where you want to place objects, you can go ahead and go to the uh, view and click down the the selection property bar, or hit Control Q, and that will bring up this box. Now, this X and Y, uh, if you remember back in your geometry days, this, this this refers to a grid, and this top left corner up here is zero, zero. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. I'm going to go ahead and hit zero, hit the enter button, and uh, hit zero again, and hit the enter button. And as you can see, that moved it to the top uh, left corner. Now say you wanted this to be shifted over to the right one inch, all you'd have to do is put one in that X column, and it will shift it over to that one inch uh, grid square. So that's what that X and Y are. Now the width and height, um, this will change your width and height, of course. Now, say you wanted to keep everything proportional, you want this lock to be locked. So if I want this to be 5 inches wide, it's automatically going to plug in the height to, uh, to make it proportionate. Now, say I, just, say I know I wanted a, a two, 2 inch wide, make the cut. So I'm going to hit the this right here, and I want a three inch uh, height, and then you can go to three and hit hit the uh, enter button. As you can see, it's it's deformed, but it is the correct width and height that you are wanting. Now I have over here. Um, I'm going to zoom out here. You know, multiple pieces. For example, say you're wanting to uh, to move both of these at the same time all you have to do is click and drag and now you can select both of them that's in that uh, blue box that you see here and now they are both selected and I can just click anywhere to move them I can still uh, resize them together as a group I can rotate them together as a group and likewise I can warp them together as a group so that's a that's a pretty neat way on how to select things it's fairly easy uh, I hope you guys got something out of this, and stay tuned for more Make the Cut Classroom tutorials.